you're all set to head out, but when you turn the key, the engine doesn't start. Instead, you hear the starter spinning, but it just won't engage. It's a frustrating situation, but don't worry, we're here to help you understand why this happens and how to fix it. Understanding how the starter system works. To understand why your starter spins but doesn't engage, it's important to know how the starter system works. The starter motor is responsible for cranking the engine, which allows the car to start. When you turn the ignition key, an electrical signal is sent to the starter solenoid. The solenoid then pushes the starter gear forward to engage the flywheel, this action cranks the engine, causing it to start. If the starter motor is spinning but not engaging with the flywheel, it means that the starter gear is not making contact with the flywheel's teeth. This can prevent the engine from turning over and starting. Common causes of starter spinning but not engaging. Now that we understand the basics, let's dive into some common causes of why the starter spins but doesn't engage. Several issues can cause this problem, ranging from simple fixes to more complex repairs. Cause 1. Worn out starter drive gear. The starter motor has a small gear, often called the pinion gear, which engages with the flywheel. Over time, this gear can wear out or become damaged, preventing it from engaging properly. If the gear's teeth are stripped or worn down, the starter motor may spin without turning the engine. Cause 2. Faulty starter solenoid. The starter solenoid is the part that pushes the starter gear forward to engage with the flywheel. If the solenoid is malfunctioning or has failed, it won't be able to move the gear into place, causing the starter motor to spin without engaging. Cause 3. Weak battery or electrical issues. A weak battery or poor electrical connections can prevent the starter from getting enough power to fully engage the gear. If the battery voltage is too low, the solenoid might not have enough power to push the gear forward, even though the starter motor is spinning. Cause 4. Damaged flywheel teeth. The flywheel itself can be the culprit. If the teeth on the flywheel are damaged or worn, the starter gear may not be able to engage properly. This could result in the starter spinning without turning the engine. Cause 5. Improper installation. If the starter was recently replaced or worked on, improper installation could be to blame. If the starter isn't aligned correctly, the gear might not engage with the flywheel as it should. How to diagnose the problem? Diagnosing why your starter is spinning but not engaging requires a systematic approach. Here's how you can troubleshoot the issue yourself or with the help of a mechanic. Start by checking the battery voltage. Use a multimeter to ensure the battery is providing sufficient power. A healthy battery should read around 12.6 volts or higher when fully charged. If the voltage is low, try jump starting the car or charging the battery before testing the starter again. Next, inspect the starter solenoid. Listen for a clicking sound when you turn the key, if you don't hear a click, the solenoid may be faulty. You can also test the solenoid using a multimeter to check for continuity. If the battery and solenoid are in good condition, the next step is to examine the starter gear and flywheel. This may require removing the starter motor to visually inspect the gear. Look for worn or damaged teeth on both the starter gear and the flywheel. As a final step, make sure all electrical connections to the starter and battery are clean and tight. Corrosion or loose connections can cause a drop in voltage, preventing the starter from engaging properly.